everyone, welcome back, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Postgres MCP server and integrate it into the uh, cloud AI, cloud desktop. Then next week, I'm going to try and use the same MCP uh, server for Postgres and integrate it into a Dash app. But for now, let's use cloud. So I'm, I have this Postgres um, MCP server uh, integrated into cloud. So I'm going to show you an example. How many rows does my users table, that's the name of my table, have inside this database, which is on my computer. This, this table right here, you see users table, uh, is on my computer. If I right click on this, this is PG admin for the user interface for Postgres um, databases on your computer. View edit data, all rows. Oh, I can't view it, but let's see, 217,605 rows. For some reason, I can't view it right now, but we have that here. Diminish this. Allow for this chat. It's going to try to access, I'm giving it permission to access my Postgres um, table, right? And it's going to query, and there we go. Your, your user table has 217,000 rows, 605. Let's ask it one last question. What are the column names of the table? Just to show us that it works. Doing another query based on my question. Use the table and have these column names. Unique key, they created agency complaint and status. There we go. Agency complaint and status. So we see that this works, right? We see that we successfully um, added our Postgres, this one, this Postgres MCP server and this specific tool uh, into our Claude AI. So let me give you tips and let me show you how to do this on your own. Um, after this video, I'm also going to share this file and any other documentation that you need in the description of the video below. You can find it on uh, Charming Data uh, on the platform where we learn and um, build AI and data visualization together. Okay, so first of all, you will need two things. That's the only thing you need for creating this uh, server and this tool. You will need to configure and update the cloud desktop a config file this part which we'll go over in a sec and you will need to do the to build the tool right in this case this tool is very simple it's just a tool that the ai will use to create sql queries and query the uh, users table on my computer right my postgres a table that's on my computer that is it so let's look at this first uh, obviously, you need um, uh, Claude Desktop, so make sure to install Claude Desktop on your computer. You will need to create these um, directories. For now, if this is completely new to you, then just create the exact same names of the files and folders that you see here. It's less likely that you will make a mistake. So this folder is called Postgres-file or hyphen file. Uh, and inside this directory, I have really two um, folders and files. You don't need animal. This is just a different Python that I created, Python file. You just need postgres-demo.py, which is this one right here. And you need to create your virtual environment. All right. So to create your virtual environment, make sure, let's make this bigger here, make sure that you're inside your postgres-file uh, and just do uv. We're going to use uv. V E N V. All right, this will create this virtual environment or dot VNV, something like that. And once you have that, uh, what you need to do uh, on Windows at least, go into Git Bash. I think it's called bit Git Bash if you go here into the search. Open Git Bash, CD into, into your VNV file, activate it. You, to activate it, you will go, let me show you how to activate dot vnv or if, if you don't have a dot just vnv without the dot scripts activate and this will activate the the virtual environment inside git bash and then you will install the libraries that you need so you need this library you see right here so you'll do uv pip install and this library you will also need to install mcp and maybe uh loguru this is just to um, catch any errors and log the errors and I think that's it. When eventually we, we use Dash, you're going to have to install Dash as well. Okay, so we have our virtual environment. 
we installed our libraries. If you have any question, please under the video in the description, in the comments. Uh, we installed all the necessary libraries. Again, remember to, if you're on Windows, to use Git Bash, because I couldn't install it here on PyCharm. I had to install it on Git Bash, all the libraries. And now let's tackle one of the two things that we need to build. Let's tackle the cloud desktop config. So let's do this. To reach this file on your computer, you'll have to, uh, let's, uh, I don't want to close that. Well, let's go here. You'll have to go to this uh, hamburger, file, settings, developer, edit config. This will open the folder where your config file exists, which is right here. Right click and open it however you want. I opened it inside PyCharm. So that's why we have it here. I, I have many other um, MCP servers that I created, but in this case, we just care about the Postgres server. So give it any name you want. Again, if this is your first time, just spell it exactly the same I spelled it. The command, this is the path, right? This is using forward slash because I'm on Windows. On a Mac, you might have to use double backslash or one backslash. This is the command. Uh, it's telling it where we uh, installed uh, UV, the original UV, which I installed in a different in a different directory, in this directory right here. So wherever you install uh, initiate UV, you would have to uh, put this in there, give it the path. Then you put directory. This always stays the same, and you put the path to your um, to your file, right where the Postgres uh, da uh, dash demo exists. So you'll see this is this path right here. We can right click Postgres file. We can do uh, copy, oops, not copy, but we'll do copy path, copy, and this is what we have right here, you see, the path. And then we always do run, and after run, you will have to do the name of your Python file, right? And it's, in this case, it's, it's the MCP um, tool that we created. It's postgres-demo.py, okay? So that's what you need right here. That's all you need for the simple Postgres server to for Claude desktop to realize that you have built this server, this tool, and to connect to it, you need to add it here inside your desktop. Now, this is one of the dictionaries. This is actually one dictionary inside this complete MCP server. So this is one tool to document. Let's close this. Let's close Gmail. Let's close G Drive. There's other tools that I have here. So as you can see here, this is just another tool. So make sure you have, if you don't have any tools before, make sure you have this line. Open dictionary, MCP servers, open another dictionary, put this tool in there, and then um, and then close these two dictionaries, curly brackets. Okay? All right. So now that we have this, now we need to create our MCP tool, our Postgres tool. I'm not going to write all the code because it's just not the goal of this video. I'm just going to share this with you on, on, on Charming Data if you want. But here I import all my libraries. I'm instantiating and the uh, MCP. And everything goes inside the MCP.tool decorator. This uh, tells uh, the AI that it's an MCP tool. And here I run it. I need this, this last line of code to run it. And the tool is, uh, let me break this down for you. We have our doc string. This is very, very important. Never miss this doc string. This is what tells the AI when and how to use this tool. Use this when ex ex executing Postgres SQL queries for the user's table and return this JSON, uh, JSON response. Okay. So now it knows that if I ask Claude a question like, uh, what are yesterday's emails right what's the copy what's the content what's the subject it won't activate the postgres mcp server it will only activate it when i ask a question about my user's table or wanted to execute some kind of sql so it knows when to activate it and once it activates it you can see here that i have all my uh, data to connect to the postgres um, uh, database right See the animal, my animal database is the name of my database. You'll see that here. See my animal, I have two databases here. This is the first one, my animal database. And then I have Postgres is the username. Adam is uh, my password. 
high security recommend doing something not as <laughs> complex um as your name uh local host is by default and 5432 is a default so i haven't changed the defaults so i'll keep them the same and then we create uh, a non-connection and then we try the connection here we're connecting as soon as this uh, function is activated is triggered we're going to connect to our database on my computer uh, uh, create the cursor to execute sql commands and then we're going to execute it and then return all rows after I return all the rows or I fetch all the rows, I'm going to close the cursor down, close the connection to the, the database, and then I'm going to return everything as a JSON dumps as a JSON uh, format. All right. Now, very important thing to, to think about, pause the video or listen to me very well here. Like this can be very confusing for people. This function is only for uh, the AI, in this case, Claude AI. Um, it's not the user using this it's Claude AI meaning that if I ask this is how it works a user in your case you and Adam is asking a question right what are the columns names of the table this is a string this is my question AI thinks about this string and says okay I'm going to need to create an SQL query and then connect to um, uh, activate this function use this tool and connect to Adam's uh, table users table to execute this query so this string right here this argument that the function has a string is not my string it's not my question but it's actually the SQL query this this is what it is right this string right here so this is the AI to use this is for the AI not for the user when we build a dash app we'll have an input field where the user can ask questions and the users questions those strings are not gonna go in here the AI agent is going to translate those strings into an SQL, SQL uh, format, SQL query, to actually uh, use this to um, query the database right here. Right? And then it spits out the JSON uh, format of the rows. Now, this also is only for the AI. This is not what you see. This response, the JSON right here, is not JSON. The JSON is the response that it gets from right here I think from the from the query itself so that's a very important distinction to make JSON the, the the argument is is what the AI writes the SQL query in this case and the return object the JSON is what the AI will receive but it's not always necessarily viewable for the viewer if I had this closed you wouldn't be able to see it you only see your own question what the AI is thinking in this case, the AI is thinking, and then the AI chews on the results, thinks about the JSON format that it got back from the rows, and, and gives you a response in natural language. So I hope this process was, was clear. If not, write me the questions in the comments below. And that's it. So that we have our MCP tool. Uh, and anytime we ask a question, uh, Cloud will uh, activate a connection to our Let's try one last example. What are the unique values under the agency column? So you'll see here, it'll ask us, it will understand that it has to access this tool and it will ask for permission. Oh, we already gave it permission. You remember when it gave us like an alert? So it doesn't need permission again, luckily. Um, and now it gives us all the unique values under the um, agency column. Now, one thing to keep in mind, you're going to have errors. Errors are going to come up. Bad connections are going to happen. It's not going to work on the first time unless you do exactly what I showed you here and you have everything installed in the virtual environment. But when error comes up, this is how you take care of them. Let's, let's introduce an error. I'm going to change this to dem instead of demo. So I'm going to give it the wrong, the wrong name. Let's quit. Every time you make something, you change something in this file, you have to quit and relaunch it. Relaunch Claude. I'm going to relaunch Claude, and you see it's not going to work. It's going to say error. Open MCP settings. Let's see what's the error. Postgres server. Okay, I want to see what the error is. Postgres server. Open log folder. Click on this, and we'll open this folder right here. Logs. Go into, I have many different MCP servers here. So go to the MCP server. That's the Postgres server, right? Right click it open with PyCharm, and this is what we have here, right here. 
So if you scroll all the way down, all the way, all the way down, you'll see error failed to spawn. Spawn. What a, not a nice word. Spawn. Um, where is it? Where do we go? Okay, here. Failed to spawn Postgres dash dem. Oh, so now I program not found. Well, now I can figure out, okay, there's a spelling mistake because I remember that my file was called postgres.demo um, slash demo. So I'll go back to the cloud desktop config file and I'll change this back to demo. I'll save it. I have to, I have to um, quit Claude and reopen it. That's the only way to like reset and start. And then you see that it will work because it doesn't, at least it doesn't rec recognize any errors. And I have 14 tools here again. Before I had like uh, 13. So now I have 14. It recognizes a Postgres MCP server. All right. I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned a lot. Come join our Charming Data uh, platform community where we build AIs together, um, uh, 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 data visualizations and apps. In the next video on, on Saturday, actually, I'm going to do a live video with a Charming Data community to try and integrate this Postgres tool, MCP server, into um, a Dash app with a Langchain agent. Um, so hope to see you there on Saturday at 9.30 a.m. Um, that's it. Always remember, we're ready together, so help each other out.